All right, hey YouTube, welcome to a, another episode on the Artist Forum. I want to uh, make a video that I believe really goes at the heart of what this channel is all about, and it's really talking about the basics of what an artist has to go through when they're developing their voice. I believe any artist, and I'm going to talk about in this video specifically for like a, an example of a musical artist learning an instrument, but I believe any artist from painting to writing to being a chef, they can they also benefit from this because they're all artists and they all have to develop who they, their style, who they are as an artist. This video also isn't really going to talk about, but I will at the end sort of tie it into this, but it's not really going to talk about what, like, let's say, artist development of what an A&R at a record label would be dealing with because in today's music industry, let's say, you know, uh, an A&R on a label really wants an artist that's already developed and has already sort of started to find their style. And I believe, you know, an A&R would really take that developed artist that has a style and an, a fan base and really start to open it up into, you know, marketing it to a wider range. And that's sort of where that that A&R would take, take over. This video is really to get at the basics in the beginning of where an artist starts and develops and how they find their voice. Okay, so the basics of developing an artist developing their voice, I believe sort of stems from about three things and and those could be really easily said as one you first you have to learn the tools your skills as an artist in, in that discipline and for example an artist learning an instrument you have to learn to play the instrument and now that seems pretty obvious right but it's as we go further and explain these steps, it's it, these things all build on each other. And so a musical artist learning the instrument, you're, you're not just learning the instrument, you're learning other aspects of that instrument, you know, how to, you know, even maintain and take care of that instrument, let's even say, and just so many things. This is the initial stage of, of, of your development is you're just, you're learning the tools as like a songwriter. You're learning music theory. You're learning arranging. You're learning melody writing. You're you're learning these tools that, and, and these tools are going to help you get out of like writer's blocks and 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 the, you know you'll learn brainstorming ways. These are all just the basic development of your of your of your artistry. You know, a, a painter. You know, they they learn all their different brushes and they learn different techniques. I guess you know. I'm not an expert in, in, in that visual art, but I do know that this all applies across the whole board. The first is you want to learn the skills and the tools. Second now is once you started to really learn that instrument and how to start to play, you're going to want to start to imitate, you know, people of today and in the past on, on, in that art. You know, let's say again in the example of on a musical instrument, you want, you know, if you're a vocalist, you're going to want to start to imitate, you know, people in, in the similar genre as you today, as well as in the past. Now, you might start to ask, I mean, is that plagiarism? Is there something wrong with that? No, there's nothing wrong with that. That is part of any artist's development is one, to learn the tools and the skills, but then start to just imitate other people you have to you have to start to see where other people develop their voice and you're going to learn a lot by doing that um for example for me when i started you know learning guitar i you know I, I started on classical guitar and then i went into the you know electric guitar and when i started learning electric guitar i started trying to imitate like joe pass initially then i started trying to imitate like Jimi hendrix when i was learning that style you, you learn so much by that. You, you, you start to see where they came from, some of their influences, and even if you go back even further. 
of, of whatever artist you're trying to imitate, you're going to find their influences even. Um, there's, again, I have to say that there's nothing wrong with this. This is really a key stage in developing your voice as an artist. You know, you see a lot of, you know, like, let's say, Elvis Presley impersonators, you know, there's, they're, they're imitating this artist, but there's nothing wrong with that. Once, once you've gotten to this, through this imitation and you've learned how to play an instrument, if you've learned the skills, this last stage, I would say, in the initial basic development of an artist is really just finding now your own style through just improvisation and just really finding out who you are. And now this is sort of where now A&R would come in is now you start to have to ask yourself some questions. You have to start to ask yourself, again, you know, who am I? I mean, what do I have to say? How am I going to say it on this instrument or in this art? You know, those are really two really important things. And, and one is, you know, you want to start to also formulate some goals for yourself. Where do you want to be in five or ten years as an artist? So you know, start to think about, you know, who you are, what do you have to say, what do you, what do you want to do with your artist, your, 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 your acquired skills and, and the things that you've learned from other artists. Now, what do you want to say? These, these are just incredibly important things to start to think about. And I, I'm hoping in this video that I'm sort of making artists initially in their in their stages of development or already developed to start to think about that so you have more of a clearly defined path for really developing your voice but also you know you know continuing to develop it because you're always going to be you know evolving as an artist so don't don't forget about these things and i hope this video is beneficial to you Please, you know, like and, like and subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. If you can just write some comments about any future content I can, I can do for you. And I just, I want to say I'm, I'm here for you. I'm here to try to just help artists develop and talk about developing your, your artistry and, and finding your voice. Because it's incredibly important. Because there's just so many things that, that keep a whole artist back that, you know, really through just talking about it and, and with each other, I think we can all develop. So I want to thank you for watching the video and I hope you come back again. Thank you.